executive session tonight under Colorado Revised Statute 24-6-40T, uh, Privacy 4, Privacy B, Legal Advice, Board to Conference with an Attorney for the purpose of receiving legal advice on specific matters. Can I have a mo uh, motion? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Can we have roll call, Monica, please? Mr. Archuleta? Aye. Mr. Garland? Aye. Aye. Mr. Aye. Mr. Aye. Okay, we will now move into an executive session at. Call this meeting to order on October 24, 2017, <coughs> at 6.34. Please rise for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Monica, can we have, can we please have roll call? Mr. Archuleta. Here. Mr. Dryden. Here. Mr. Keith Here. Mr. Roland. Here. Mr. Thomas. Here. Okay, I need a motion for the approval of the minutes on October 10th, 2017. I make a motion to approve the minutes of October the 10th, 2017. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Hearing none, can we please have roll call? Mr. Archuleta. Aye. Uh, Mr. Aye. 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 Okay, moving on to the approval of the agenda. I need a motion for the approval of the agenda. I make a motion for the approval of the agenda. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, can we have roll call, Monica, please? Mr. Archuleta? Aye. Mr. Dwellings? Aye. Mrs. Quintana? Aye. Mr. Roller? Aye. Mr. Thomas? Aye. Okay, at this time, there is no audience comment, so we'll bypass audience comments and move right into routine items. Consent items, personnel. I need a motion for the approval of personnel uh, action. So um, make a motion for the approval of personnel action. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, can we have roll call, Monica, please? Aye. 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 Moving on to business, 1.0, other, 1.1, super, I need a uh, superintendent's recommendation. I need a motion for the approval of the calendar changes for Kearney Middle School early dismissal on September 21st, 2017 due to strong odors throughout the facility and DuPont Elementary closure <coughs> on October 10th due to gas line repairs. Make a motion for the approval of calendar changes. Second. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, can we have roll call, Monica, please? Mr. Aye. 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 Mrs. Aye. Mr. Aye. 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 Moving on to 1.2, superintendent's recommendation. I need a motion for the approval to contract between Adams 14 School District and the Homies Unidos. Motion to approve the contract between Adams 14 School District and Homies Unidos. Second. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, can we have roll call, Monica, please? Mr. Archuleta? Aye. Mr. Aye. Aye. Mr. Aye. Mr. Aye. Aye. Moving on to 1.3, superintendent's recommendation. I need a motion for the approval of Adams City Middle School eighth grade students to attend a four-night, five-day field trip to Washington, D.C. on April 29th 
May 3rd, 2018, and their fundraising efforts. Motion to approve the Adams City Middle School 8th grade students to attend a four-night, five-day field trip to Washington, D.C. Second. Second. Okay, is there a discussion? Here now, can we have roll call, Monica, please? Aye. 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 Moving on to 1.4, student uh, superintendent's recommendation. I need a motion for the approval to accept E-rate funding for wired interfraction inter upgrade project at Adam City High School, Adam City Middle School, Central Elementary, uh, Camp Elementary, Kearney, Kearney Middle School, and Rose Hill Elementary. Motion to accept the E-rate funding for wired infrastructure upgrades. Second. Is there a discussion? Hearing none, can we have roll call, Monica, please? Mr. Aye. 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 Moving on to 1.5. Uh, I need a <coughs> superintendent's recommendation. I need a motion for the uh, approval for ERAS grant funding contract between Adams 14 School District and Griffin Centers for Children. Motion for the approval of the year's grant funded contract between Adams 14 School District and Griffin Centers for Children. Second. Is there any discussion? Here you done, can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Aye. Mr. Aye. Aye. Mr. Aye. Mr. Aye. Moving on to 1.6, superintendent's recommendation. I need a motion for the approval for the heiress grant funding contract between Adams 14 School District and the Colorado Youth for a change. Motion to approve, motion for approval of the year's grant funded contract between Adams 14 School District and Colorado Youth for a change. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, can we have a roll call, Monica, please? Aye. 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 Moving on to 1.7, superintendent's recommendation. I need a motion for the approval of the heiress grant fund contract between Adams 14 School District and the YES Institution. Motion for the approval of the year's grant funded contract between Adams 14 School District and YES Institute. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, can we have roll call, please? Aye. 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 We'll move now, move on to 2.0 resolution, 2.1 resolution number 17012, classified school employee week, October 23rd through 27th, 2017. Mr. Archuleta will read it. <coughs> resolution number 17-012, Board of Education, Adams County School District 14. Classified School Employees Week, October 23rd through the 27th, 2017. Whereas the Adams 14 Board of Education recognizes that classified school employees are an essential part of the services we provide to students, parents, staff, and community, and whereas classified school employees assist in providing safe and orderly facilities for our students to learn and grow, and whereas classified school employees perform the daily cleaning and maintenance of school property, safely transport students to and from school, prepare and serve nourishing lunches, maintain records and reports, assist in classrooms and on school playgrounds, and perform a variety of other tasks on behalf of our students, and whereas classified school employees continue to seek solutions to prevent school violence, and they are actively involved in countless school programs, and whereas it is appropriate for Adams 14 to recognize the role of classified school employees in our education system. John W. Hickenlooper, Governor of the State of Colorado, proclaimed October 16th through the 20th, 2017 as Classified School Employees Week in the State of Colorado. Therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education of Adams County School District 14, Adams County, State of Colorado, does hereby recognize October 23rd through the 27th as Classified School Employees Week in Adams 14, adopted and approved this 24th day of October 2017. Okay, uh, need a motion for the adoption of resolution number 17012, a classified school employee week, October 23rd through 27th. 
Motion to adopt resolution number 17 012. Second. Second. Okay, is there any discussion? Uh, I guess that I just want to say the date difference a little bit from what Governor Hickenlooper did since we were on break last week. That's why we the date's a little bit different for the week. Okay, can we have roll call, Monica, please? Aye. 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 Okay, moving on to 3.0 board uh, action on Veterans Day. Uh, Dr. Brago, do you have some information? Uh, yes. Uh, if you look on your package, you'll see the request for information. Uh, we have some information there for, for all the board members uh, pertaining to that Veterans Day. I think the most important thing is I did go out to visit some of the schools, and they did ask me to, you know, when I talked to the board, to please try to keep it the way it is right now because they have many activities going on, and it would be difficult for them to change it. So I said we will try, and the decision is up to the board. And I can just tell you that it was an oversight that was not caught by me, I think, the board. So uh, because of late notice, it would be difficult to change. But, again, it's, it's your decision, but um, we're willing to accept whatever comes our way. So is there a discussion? Well, I think he laid it out here. Um, at least what I read in, in all of this stuff here, that why it would be kind of an issue for some of the people that have already had plans going for uh, right. for those it's, days. So, you know. Um, it's, there's a lot of things going on. I mean, you can look on your page what's going on at the various schools. Uh, High school has things going on. They would have to redo our schedule, try to get volunteers. The elementary schools also have items. But again, uh, we try to put these information so that you could uh, look at it before you came in here and you know before you cast your vote. But again, we're hoping that you allow us to keep it the same for this year. We'll make the correction for next year. Is there any other discussion? OK, then I guess. Uh, I guess we have to just to say we're just going to leave it as it has. So do we have a consensus on that? Just leave it alone? Yes. Joe, Kim, uh, we need for this year, yeah, yeah. We need a motion. I think you have to. It's on the agenda. We need yeah, a motion. It's, 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 it's an agenda, agenda item. It's on the agenda. Yeah. We need a motion. For? To, to. We're not voting Not voting on it. You do have yes. to vote. It's on the agenda. On the agenda. Oh, okay. So I make a motion that we leave. Um, Veterans Day, the date that it is, uh, based on the information provided to us from the superintendent. Second. All right. Is there any discussion? Do I have roll call, Monica? Mr. Aye. 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 Okay, moving on to, uh, to communications. Dr. Brago, is there anything you would like to communicate with the yes, uh, board? Number one is uh, we have Beyond Textbooks will be doing their second walkthrough. They will be here on Thursday and Friday to visit uh, our schools. And again, they always do an exit interview where they give us the positives and the negatives. Uh, on another good note, we have Senator Dominic Moreno, who's visiting some of our schools. He's going to the high school and visiting some of the classes there. He's also going to uh, some of the other elementary schools and making visits to individual classrooms. I also want to say that uh, on Monday, we started the second quarter, so all our students have received a report card or will receive a report card for the first nine weeks of school. Uh, and this is the first time that we've had a fall break, so I did get a few emails from some teachers saying that they, they feel a little bit rejuvenated uh, coming back, and it came at a good time. So um, hopefully that's a good thing. And like I said, uh, we're going to continue to move forward and try to end up uh, the second quarter so we could get off to a, a good semester for the in, in January. Those are some of the things that are going on. Uh, I do have a question. I don't know if you know, but if you could get it to us on the first meeting of the month for November, and that is how's the attendance since that is our number one priority for turnaround? Uh, the attendance is very good at all our schools. The only school that we're having a problem, a problem meaning that we're not over 90% is the high school. I've given them uh, to this month, October, to make sure that they can reach that. And I said, if you don't, then we've got to come in and try to make some changes. So they're going to get together with me this week. And again, they're about 88%, which is a 3% improvement from last year, but we're not where we want to be. So 
I think the next the next step is to sit down with the team and say, what are we going to do now to to get to the ninety percent? So we're we're continuing to uh, look for strategies to help more kids get to school. Okay. I have a uh, Go ahead, Joe. Isn't Lester Arnold below ninety percent as well? Yeah, I believe Lester like Arnold. Eighty percent. Uh, I don't know if they're eighty percent there. But both both schools, it's the high schools that are, are not there. I would say the only thing on Lester Arnold's behalf is uh, theirs is criteria is a little bit different, but the high school is the one that are most important. Even though Lester Arnold is, is not where they should be, they're better than they were last year. Um, I, my question is, um, Lester Arnold's teachers for both months is at 100%. Th- yes. So we're talking about students, not teachers. So let's clarify what we talk about. We're, we're monitoring both of them. Right, but we should clarify that Lester Arnold's teachers are at 100%, not yes. the students. It's the teachers at Correct. 100%. Not, and second, when you say 88%, are we talking about at the high school? Are we talking about students or teachers? Uh, when we're talking to 80 percent, now there's each class is different because mm-hmm. the, they run stats on the ninth grade, the tenth grade, eleventh grade, and twelfth grade. We're talking about student attendance. Okay. So, do we have any numbers on our count for October 1st? Are we up students, or are we uh, did we fall, or do we stay? At our last meeting, we said we might deviate 30 students less this year. So we're pretty close to the same where we were at last year. Any other questions? Yes. Um, I brought up um, last board meeting about Central's parking lot, about the left turn. Have we changed that or have we looked into that? Because that was um, two weeks ago I brought that up. Right. I, I don't think it's been changed. We are looking into it. I, I think uh, some of the items you told us to look into – we started uh, the high school security was one, and we did hire two more security members. I talked to uh, Mr. Jasek. He said that, that they felt pretty good with the four. Uh, talking with other districts that that was good supervision. Um, I looked into the district website, and I think Brandon's here, and if we know exactly what needs to be done, we will help, hopefully help you with that, but we just need maybe telling us exactly what needs to be done on the website so that he can get his people on it. Uh, I drove around and could not find 72nd and Kearney. And then on yours, I, I, we have not done that yet, Mr. Uh, Thomas. And when you say security, the question, my question is, um, I attended the football games this weekend, and it was actually cold. And um, I know we came um, bring up personnel and not trying to micromanage but our um, security officers that's at the football games, do we got coats and hats and gloves for those? Because if I'm cold, I know they got to be cold. Do we provide um, our security with shirts and uh, Adams 14 school district shirts? Uh, security. Security shirts and gloves and beanies. and Because um, I know if I'm cold out there and I'm watching them and they don't have beanies and hats and gloves and whatnot and – uh, I'm sure if um, I think personally presenting our, their self to make to make Adams 14 look good, they should be looking good too as security. Yeah. And then you just brought on two more, but I think if I'm not mistaken in personnel action items, we only hired one person. I think it's still one more out there, from my understanding. So, um, are we? We bringing in a new person. Can we get uniforms for our staff for these individuals? I don't know what we can get, but I'm going to be meeting with the high school again tomorrow because uh, I wanted to find out about the security that right. they're going to bring in and how they're going to in-service them as far as what their responsibilities are. So right. when I go to the high school tomorrow, I don't know about the uniforms, yeah, what mean, we provide, but I can get that for you. And I'm just saying, you know, you know, they represent Adams 14. Right. And we coming through the gate and visitors coming through the gate. We just want to look presentable. And and I think they need coats because if I'm cold and got a coat or beanie on, they should have the same thing. I will check with them tomorrow. And just piggybacking on what Mr. Thomas said is that when I attend other games at other schools, their security is always well prepared, dressed, and everything. So you know whose security is if something should happen, and that's what we have to have. But okay, anything else? Anybody else? George. I was just going to say the same thing that you said, that they need to be well marked because if they go hands-on with someone 
and they don't know that their security that could create a, a bigger problem than uh, what we have okay anything else <clears throat> all right moving on then from myself uh, just got to remember that the board requested a table to give out candy at Adam City High School Eagle Street that will be on Thursday October 26 from 5 to 8 p.m. all of the other school fall activities have been placed on the board's calendar so our, when we first brought this up we also were going to be there is that still on task okay and uh, Monica will you have the candy there or do you want one of us to stop by and pick it up or okay thank you going on the other is the Marine uh, Corps ROTC 242nd birthday ball is on Saturday November 4th at 6 p.m. if you haven't already uh, signed up please uh, confirm your reservations for you and your spouse or friend or uh, with Monica remember that we have a study session scheduled to receive information on the annual financial audit on Tuesday November 9th at 6 p.m. and the last thing is remember we have a meeting next Tuesday or is it Monday Monday no next Monday on October 30th with the city council uh, is it going to be in here we're in the community room eh? you do we know dr brago have you no community room in the community room in the community room so once again if we could just meet with them and that's what six to eight they won't um, change it to 4 30 because your broncos play at 6 30. Broncos, well, they didn't play this weekend. Oh, we'll make sure they're going to play Monday. Hey, I'm, I'm a Bears fan. We won, so I'm not complaining about that. Well, okay, so we saying, have a they just, motion there to change it from 4.30 to 6. No, from 6 to 4.30. Okay, from 4.30 to 6. Yeah, 4.30 to 6. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's been a motion. Is there any problems with that? Well, how many rooms do y'all have in this building that we can have a meeting in? Mm -hmm. I'm sure well, we. Are they some meet, of the is, folks from the city are going to be in a meeting with Dr. Abrego. But we'll be in the meeting with city council. Yes, so will Dr. Abrego. Okay, well, when they finish, they can come right. to our meeting. But they won't. So following them. their meeting then, so what What time is that meeting, Dr. Abrego? The first meeting starts at, is it 5 o'clock, Monica? I know I think we were trying to do two things at one on one day, so So she's looking on the calendar right now to, for the exact time. I, I believe it was supposed to be the, our meeting was before the other meeting so that we can uh, get done with one and go into the other. Our meeting was scheduled from 4 to 5.30. And the joint meeting is at 6. So do we want to maybe move it to 5.30 to 7? Sure. The Broncos plan. I don't care. Or 5.30, 6.30 and rush on home and get the first quarter in anyway. We can't well, stick for that home company. Oh, you're going to the city council? I mean, to the city building? Mm -hmm. I thought this one was here. Yeah. It's supposed to be we here. We were there last time. For his. For, oh, the prior meeting, yeah. yeah. The, the, the original meeting's here, but I, I was supposed to meet with them over okay. there. And we, we are providing food for the meeting? The city is. The city's bringing in food? Huh? Okay. So we just have to record the first half of the Broncos. Okay, so we're okay with that then. We can't make changes. Okay, is there anybody else have anything for communication? Yes. I got two okay. things. Um, I'd like an update on the uh, message boards at the high school in Kearney. I don't have any information for you at this time. Mr. Gianni, do we have any information on the message boards? No, the confusion was 
can he come to the? That's okay, but we I was very clear it was at the high school. Yeah. So I was come? very clear about that. Excuse me, out of order. He needs to come up front. Yeah. And just uh, I guess for the board, we were confused on on the uh, on the instructions. As I said, I was looking on 72nd and Kearney. Uh, the message board at the high school is not working. Okay. The then. marquee, the ones at 72nd and Quebec, okay, I'll, I will spell it out, is not working. It's not even no, on. You don't have to get that way. Just So that yeah. was two weeks ago. It's been off the entire school year. Okay, they need to put in a work order for that. And we've been working with Dyne Tech um, because that's some old technology. Um, so... Um, I didn't know it wasn't working because I haven't received another work order, but every time they put a work order in, it's some old technology that we've been working with. Um, and if the school put in a work order, we'll get it done. Well, when you talk about old technology, what do you exactly mean by that? So there's some systems that they use that just don't have updated, and it's not even software. It's software that's not even uh, used anymore. So that, along with the, um, the scoreboard that we've been having trouble with at the high school. So... But, uh, There's some technology that is outdated that is going to be very, very expensive to get up to speed. Um, and technology, not technology, and maintenance has been doing what they could to keep it going. Um, but we don't know it's out until they tell us it's out. Uh, Johnny, uh, I'm going to be going there tomorrow to talk to the principal on the concerns on security. Would it be possible <coughs> for you to go with me and we could address both items Absolutely. at one time? Yeah. And is the lights out on Kearney's because they have a on Kearney solid. all that shows is the date and the time and that they cannot put any other messages on there okay we'll look at that as well I mean the date and time is correct okay we'll look at that but, but we don't know until they put a work order in and sometimes they do those internally at the school with their computer pad that they hook up to it and put their own messages on so we don't monitor those but when they break they put in a work order and we get to it okay and the second thing is going to have to uh, is the curb cut at Central no, that's going to take some time. Um, I'm meeting with, um, I got the email from um, Maria de Andre on the contractors that I'll get in touch with to bid the, the work. So she sent me that as long, along with the um, cones and stuff that we can put out there in terms of the median to make sure traffic is flowing correctly. What kind of time frame are you looking at? There are contractors. I don't know what, I couldn't give you a, do we have to pull a permit, or is the city going to do that for us? Well, these are city contractors, so I'll know that as soon as I meet with them. I'm sure there will be some type of permit pulled, but I'm sure since they're city contractors and referred by the city, it could be a pretty swift process. But, uh, but again, they're contractors, so I don't know how far they're out on work. The reason why I bring this up is because come January 1st, we have the new law that takes effect with the school buses. So we're running out of time to get it done. Correct, and I think we've talked about that new law. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Dr. Brego, can you um, send an email out to your staff letting them know to, to send work orders to Mr. Gianni so the Board of Education sitting up here on this diocese does not have to continue, continue asking about certain things that we shouldn't have to do? We'll, we'll initiate it tomorrow. I, I will personally go with Gianni, and on the way to the high school, we'll stop at Kearney also and, and do that one also. Thank you. Is there anything else? Uh, okay, uh, I guess. Oh, wait a minute for our table. Are we going to dress up or just goes ourselves? It is dressing up. You're dressing up? Yeah. Honey, you dressing up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn the meeting tonight. Second. Okay. Uh, is there any discussion? Hearing none, can I have a roll call, Monica? Mr. Archibald? Aye. Mr. Dreyden? Aye. Mrs. Kipana? Aye. Mr. Rolla? Aye. Aye. Okay, we are adjourned at 7.03. <laughs>